Okay, so guys, I'm back, and I know I haven't been uploading lately, but I've been so into this new thing called Tech It. If you guys haven't really or heard of it yet, it's like this awesome new like mod pack which gives you tons and tons of new stuff. And today I'm gonna be showing you like a tutorial on how to make a MFS force field. So first, show you what it does. Like this is like my favorite one to use is the area projector and it creates a force field and that's what I'm going to show you today okay so I'm here on this nice area I found I don't know if it's a texture I'm using specs and what you will need is force field a force field core force field area I mean MFFS for area projector and a you know, like, if you want these, I don't know how to actually use these, but I don't like them. I'm staying with this one. You need one of these. You need, yeah, it's called an EU injector, and you can have these if you have a nuclear reactor to put power into this by cooling it and stuff, but you don't actually need those. You don't have a nuclear reactor. Most people don't. And you, this one, like, I'll show you later. These these are upgrades that you can get after you have the first thing set up. And the way you craft these is electric circuits, four electrolyzed water cells, electrolyzer, advanced alloy, and frequency transmitter. And you craft these by here. I'll show you. This should be simple. Um, this one's just a circuit and copper cable and advanced alloy just compress and electrolyzer you can put a machine block electric circuit four copper cables and two empty cells so for the area projector you'll need quite a bit of diamonds so first you'll need to find five diamonds to make this you need another frequency transmitter and also another electrolyzed water cell also you'll need this bat box with copper cable to electrolyze water cells. So you should first electrolyze a lot of water cells and then use your electrolyzer to make the core. You need refined iron. Bat box is fairly easy to make. So first you'll need to put this the bottom, this on top, and this on the very top. Also you will need some solar panels to power this. I'll go with the high voltage ones to show you. So, you guys set up your solar panels. Well, you don't need this many, but terrible at placing. And then you need your glass fiber, which are the best to get used. That's why I use them. And you connect this to whatever you want like you can put a MFSU which will work with the high voltage ones or MFV if you don't have high voltage and you connect it to the force field the EU injector which takes power and now last right you'll need a blank card which let me see I don't know what it's called but it's a circuit with paper around it so it's a blank MFFS card so, and you need a lever. A lever. There you go. So first, I think you put this in here, and then it'll turn green. And then you got a frequency card, and then you power this. Everything will turn green. This will start getting power from your whatever power supply you have. And then you take this card and put it in here, and voila, it creates a force field. You can make it bigger depending. Wait, I can't make it bigger. Yeah, you turn it off. You can make it bigger up to 36, I think, or 32. And you can make it a sphere, which looks a lot cooler. And there you go. You got a force field. Now for the upgrades, I'll I'll show you. Sorry about the keyboard. There are many upgrades that you can get. This one, a force field dome upgrade. You can get cutter, which is pretty good. I like it. Core storage. 
vehicle range upgrade, zapper, camouflage, which is pretty cool, and a reactor. Okay, so right now I got my force field core range storage upgrade, which you make by putting four advanced alloy and electrolyzed water cell. This, you put this on the core and it'll turn like greenish, and now you see that there's 12,000 it can store up to. So you put another one and it goes up more to 14. So it adds another 2 million of storage. Without it, it's 10 million, which I think is perfectly fine. But if you have extra energy and you need to store more because it's nighttime, then it's pretty good. And now you got the core range upgrade, which I won't worry about too much. But you put here, and you have to turn it on. So you have to put another one farther away, and you can make another core. So you can all have to have the, this projector thing where it is right now. You can put this and then attach another one to that. That's like 16 blocks away. And it increases the range. Oh, okay of the core. See right now it's 16 because I added that. And if you take it out, it's 8. Transmit range. Next thing is the cutter upgrade, which is pretty good. You need this to prevent people from getting in if they know how. The carbon plate and four advanced alloy. So right now, if I go here, I can dig under this block and go like it, it won't let you but you can like walk through it if you go do it fast enough or go far down enough but once you put the cutter upgrade connect it here turns green and wait yeah turn the shield off and on turn it off and turn it ah lag Frame rate, frame. No, 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 no. Wait, are you guys let me. Okay, so uh, that was a terrible lag. I had to make it smaller. I saw the cutter thing in, and as you can see, the cutter cuts through all the blocks. So it's like if someone wants to dig down and get in, they cannot, because you just dig down and there's already a force field here it should go all the way down to bedrock but I stopped it before I start lagging so if you keep this on or no yeah it does go down to bedrock so no one can get in whatsoever unless you turn it off so that's the cutter upgrade uh, one second. okay so next upgrade um, yeah I'll do the force field underwater upgrade and you craft this with more advanced alloy, which all the upgrades need, and a bucket, which is two iron. And put this here. Wait, this won't work. One sec. Get some water. So, let's say you have like an underwater base or tons of water that you don't need in your base. You put this upgrade, if I don't like, and turn the shield on and off. It sucks out every single piece of water that's inside the force field. So I don't recommend it unless you want to make like an underwater base that's in the sea to take out all the water. It's a really easy way. But if not, I wouldn't recommend it because I actually did it once. It was terrible. So the next upgrade is this is a reactor connector. We don't have a reactor. So. Let's see, we can do the, the dome. Uh, yeah, sorry there, guys. So, uh, next upgrade, I'll do the dome upgrade. And you craft the dome upgrade with four advanced cellars and a circuit. And I would not recommend this, recommend this upgrade because it just defeats the purpose of the force field. So, you turn it off, turn it back on. It makes it so there's just a dome on top. And you can walk under it. Oh god. Whoops. So, it's kind of terrible. I don't really like it because you can just walk under the force field. What's the point of having a force field then? So, that's what it does. And I'm still creating a mug. Okay, so the next upgrade I have is one of my favorites. It's called the Zapper upgrade. And I totally recommend you to get this. Tesla coil costs uh, not that much, but it's just 
it's harder to make. And you can put this on this thing or here, I think. So you put it here and you turn it on. As you can see, it's red. So now when I walk into it, you get three, two and a half parts of damage. So if anyone tries to touch your force field or try to come near it, they get killed like instantly. So this is one of my favorite upgrades and you should definitely put this on your force field. So the next upgrade is the camera frog. Camouflage upgrade. It's a pretty cool upgrade, but I don't really use it because I don't. I just like the look of this. And you put it on. Oh no, I don't want that. And you can select the block pattern. So let's get some blocks. Get a diamond block. Can get some. Glass. Let's just try those up. So you put a diamond block in here, and it says, okay, so you can use it, and you turn it off, and turn it on, and it camouflages your whole board, or thing, into diamond blocks, and it's not actually diamond block, because you can't break it. So, let's try glass. So, it's pretty cool to camouflage it, you feel like a big, you make it look into a big mountain, but like, dirt on it and then you just like make it into a mountain so no one can see that you have a base here and you obviously can't destroy the glass and so that's about it for this tutorial on the MFFS force field system unit and if you want to know more just write that in the comments below and about my single player series I have tons of update videos that I made before the update came out now 1.3 is out so I don't know if you guys want to see those videos or you want me to start building my stuff that I was going to build. And write that in the comments below. And please give it a like, favorite, and a thumbs up. So, peace. Sorry, I thought it wouldn't end so early. So let's have a little bit of fun with this underwater upgrade and see what this can do. So I got the underwater upgrade connected to some solar panels. I don't know if they work through water or not. Let's see. Um, nope. Let's try that. And I still can't do it. So, one sec, and I'll be right back. So, guys, here I have it. I got some solar panels set up, and that's like the best way I could do it. Because the water isn't transparent, apparently. And I got some power going to this force field, so let's turn it on. Uh, wait, that's turning it off. I gotta put the card in here, and there you have it. All the water is gone. And you can make a great underwater base, and you can like light up the outside with like glowstone and stuff. And it's like a very easy way to make a base. And so that's all about it. So I want to show you guys and see.